Doesn't use the expensive raw materials. There's no cobalt, there's no copper, there's no lithium, there's no graphite, which is really primarily controlled by China today. There's no such thing, of course, as a zero emissions vehicle. The real question is where are the emissions associated with the electric car? Because what you do with an electric vehicle is you don't eliminate emissions, you export them somewhere else. There just aren't enough EVs out there yet, but maybe 10 or 20 years from now, there could be. What if I told you the game-changing technology that could end electric vehicle domination has been banned. Yeah, you heard it right. This tech is not only disruptive, but it could entirely change the energy landscape. The technology that could have turbocharged the hydrogen car revolution is locked away behind closed doors. How would you feel if you found out that one of the leading car manufacturers is part of this secretive plot? This is about the solid state hydrogen batteries, the forbidden innovation, sidelined from the spotlight. In this video, we're about to go down the rabbit hole, uncovering the facts about solid state hydrogen batteries and the shocking reason behind their ban. We'll expose the power plays, politics, and the potential future of hydrogen fuel cell technology if this ban were to be lifted. But before we delve into this electrifying narrative, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell so you won't miss out on the shocking truths we're about to unravel. Now, buckle up, this is going to be a high voltage ride. The big breakthrough, hydrogen, the most abundant element on our planet and the cleanest source of energy already plays a critical role in certain areas of our energy infrastructure. Yet its potential has long been hindered by expensive and complex storage solutions, as well as the energy intensive processes required to produce it. But what if there was a new breed of hydrogen that could be produced, stored, and transported in a more economical and eco-friendly way? That's where solid state hydrogen energy storage comes in. Developed by Plasma Kinetics, an Arizona-based clean energy startup, the revolutionary technology they have crafted might hold the key to not only changing the transportation industry, but possibly even rendering ICE vehicles obsolete. It's well known that hydrogen is notoriously difficult to store due to its low volumetric energy density. Traditional storage methods require it to be highly pressurized or chilled to extremely low temperatures both of which are costly and required significant infrastructure. But what if you could store hydrogen within minerals? No need for expensive compression or cryogenic cooling. Enter Plasma Kinetics, the game changer. Their solid state hydrogen technology captures hydrogen directly from smokestacks and solidifies it, eliminating the need for energy intensive methods of steam methane reforming and electrolysis. Not only that, their method of storage is reportedly 30% lighter, 7% smaller, and 17% cheaper per kilowatt hour than a lithium ion battery. Furthermore, their solution is scalable. As Paul Smith, the founder of Plasma Kinetics, explains, if you can provide 10 kilotons of hydrogen per hour to a plasma kinetic system, it can absorb all 10 kilotons. What's more, this approach to hydrogen storage is completely carbon-free and 100% recyclable. The current state of electric vehicles. So let's lay down the landscape for you. It's no secret that the auto industry has been electrified, literally, by the rise of EVs. These plug-and-play miracles have been blitzing past traditional petrol guzzlers, taking over our roads, and showing no signs of stopping. Just look at the numbers. In 2020, EV sales globally surged to 3.24 million units, a spectacular 43% increase from 2019 despite the pandemonium of the pandemic. By 2025, they're predicted to grab a mind-boggling 30% of the total auto market. It seems like our roads are becoming more of a tech fair, full of rolling gadgets rather than traditional cars. And the Elon Musk-led Tesla, oh man, they're not just participants in this electric revolution. They're the conductors. In 2022, Tesla owned a whopping 63% of the US EV market. Think about it. That's like one company producing almost every second EV on American roads. Talk about dominance. But this isn't just a Tesla love fest. A host of other players are also jumping onto the electric bandwagon, making the EV space one of the most exciting and rapidly evolving segments in the auto industry. This is the electric uprising and it's in full swing. So you must be wondering, with the EVs charging ahead full throttle, where does that leave the underdog? Hydrogen technology. Enter hydrogen fuel cell technology. Imagine a world where your car exhausts just pure water. Yes, H2O. Hydrogen fuel cells make this possible. 
they generate electricity by combining hydrogen and oxygen, with the only byproduct being water. Sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, right? While others have been busy plugging into the EV boom, Toyota's been, well, let's say, marching to the beat of its own drum. They've been passionately pumping billions into hydrogen tech. As of 2021, they've invested over $11 billion in this field. Ironic, isn't it? The company that kicked off the hybrid revolution with the Prius seems to be saying, electric electric, we've got hydrogen. So what's the catch here? Is Toyota onto something the rest of the auto industry is overlooking? Or are they just driving down a dead end road? Well, let's just say things are about to get a whole lot more interesting. The major caveat with hydrogen. Here's the twist in our tale. Hydrogen fuel cell tech, though promising, has a significant Achilles heel, something that's been the proverbial thorn in its side, the challenge of hydrogen storage. Picture this, hydrogen has a lower energy density than a whiff of morning air, and to store enough of it for a reasonable driving range, you'd have to compress it to such an extent that you might as well be toting it around a miniature star under your hood. Not exactly practical, is it? Enter the solid state hydrogen batteries, a radical innovation that could change the rules of the game. These aren't just your run of the mill batteries. Instead, they promise to be the silver bullet solution to the storage woes of hydrogen tech. So what makes these solid state batteries so special? Well, these batteries use a solid state electrolyte instead of a liquid one, solving two major problems plaguing traditional hydrogen fuel cells, storage and safety. You see, solid state means no risk of leaks or explosions, and it can hold a lot more hydrogen in a much smaller space. It's like having your cake and eating it too. Now let's put this into perspective. If hydrogen fuel cell cars were Superman, then the solid state hydrogen battery is like the yellow sun, fueling the man of steel and making him far more powerful. They could have transformed the hydrogen car from an underdog to a champion capable of taking on the EV Dominion. And we aren't just speculating here. The facts back it up. Solid state hydrogen batteries have the potential to achieve an energy density five times greater than lithium ion batteries, promising ranges of up to a thousand miles on a single fill. Yes, you heard it right, 1,000 miles, 1,600 kilometers. Now that's a number that would make any EV sit up and take notice. Just imagine what it could mean for the auto industry. EVs, despite their soaring popularity, are still haunted by range anxiety and long charging times. A 1,000 mile hydrogen car that fills up as quickly as your traditional gas guzzler could have given them a serious run for their money. But alas, our superhero battery tech got banished to the shadows. But why, you might ask? What could possibly lead to the banning of a technology with such immense potential? Why were solid state hydrogen batteries banned? Now, for the plot twist you've been waiting for, why on earth would a technology as promising as solid state hydrogen batteries get banished from the race? What's the shadowy secret behind the abrupt sidelining? Let's start by looking at the official reasons for the ban. Safety concerns were cited as the primary factor, with critics raising eyebrows at the very idea of storing hydrogen in a solid state. After all, hydrogen is known to be a little, shall we say, temperamental when it comes to stability? But if you scratch beneath the surface, there's more to this tale than just safety concerns. As it often happens in high stakes games like this, where the future of mobility is being reshaped, politics and power plays come into play. The EV industry, having enjoyed the limelight and the lion's share of the market, wasn't too keen on sharing the stage. Powerful forces within the industry saw the rise of solid state hydrogen batteries as a threat, a game changer that could upset their apple cart. And let's not forget, EV leaders are no pushovers. They wield considerable clout in both the market and the corridors of power. In 2022, the EV industry was valued at over $250 billion, and it's expected to surpass $800 billion by 2027. With big players like Tesla leading the pack, the EV lobby managed to throw its weight around. Critics argue that the ban on solid state hydrogen batteries is more about preserving the dominance of the EV leaders than about genuine safety concerns. In a market this big, with stakes this high, there are no rules of fair play. It's a battlefield where only the strongest survive. Not all hope is lost, Toyota's secret quest. Just when you thought the curtain had been drawn on solid state hydrogen batteries, the plot thickens. Enter Toyota, the Japanese automotive giant that never really gave up on the hydrogen dream. The company is set to introduce affordable solid state batteries while partnering with new startups all over the world and mind-boggling fast charging times. Picture this, 
gaining a whopping 600 miles of range in a mere 10 minutes. The solid-state batteries in Toyota's pipeline offer more energy density, faster charging times, and longer lifespan than current lithium-ion batteries. A single charge can potentially offer a staggering range of up to 750 miles. That's like driving from Los Angeles to Portland without stopping for a recharge. Toyota isn't just making empty promises either. They followed Tesla's footsteps and announced their own Gigafactory with $5.9 billion earmarked for a dedicated plant out of a massive $70 billion budget for EV development. They are aiming to launch a full spectrum of Toyota and Lexus EVs by 2026, a strong indication of their commitment to the electric future. Could Toyota, with its David versus Goliath attitude, finally upset the status quo in the EV market? Could the rise of solid-state hydrogen batteries under Toyota's wing rewrite the rules of the game? It certainly seems that way. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you've seen the video this far, be sure to give this channel a like and subscribe.